The sun has finally risen over Bentonville, but the stars will be out in just a few hours. We got Plinko, so anybody who comes out, make sure you come stop by. It is a free game. We got candy in Bentonville. A new escape room is preparing to open its doors just so they can lock people inside. They call it the annual shareholders meeting, but it's really more of a party than a meeting. Bentonville is known worldwide as the home of Walmart, and it's no secret that it all started right here at the Walton Five and Dime. Over the years, you've probably heard that tea, specifically green tea, is good for your health. I'm here right now with Gilgamesh Taggett playing Daddy Warbucks. In preparation for this role, did you do any devil worshiping or, or study <laughs> witchcraft of any sort? The details of the set, the cars, the outfits, how much research has gone into this? Disgusting amounts. They've got these little maps to help you kind of navigate the different vendors represented here today. I actually forgot to get a drink. I was so distracted by all the food. I never knew that. Did I'm, you not I'm know a that? Burger presser okay, myself. don't do that anymore. There's a USB hookup on here. You can actually download content from a computer, put it right into the Zoomer Dino. The hiker fell 20 to 25 feet, but the extent of his injuries unknown at this time. People are also cooking up their favorite Mexican dishes. That's why we have gloves on. Closer to home, folks in Northwest Arkansas will also be watching tonight's debate. 100 degrees. All right, Joe, thank you. Speaking of things being hot, let's talk about spicy food. In today's Health Watch, Sophia Carson from Disney's The Descendants will be out here. Miss Arkansas, Lauren McDaniel, <laughs> has partnered with Verizon to raise awareness. I think it's pretty cool. I think I would take the white over the pink, that's for sure. It is beautiful weather out here. Hundreds of people already making their way to downtown Rogers. This goes on tonight, goes on again tomorrow. Five News has a booth set up out here. And through to mention it's free. The advancements in technology when it comes to video equipment really pretty incredible. Still, most news stations continue to use small cameras like this one mounted on a tripod. But across the board, the technology continues to advance. Journalists are now trying to get their hands on drones to use those to shoot their news footage. But even with drone usage on the rise, it's an uphill battle for journalists and everyone else. 